Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Very little is agreed upon universally in college football. But outside of the SEC, there's one thing that the rest of the nation has learned to detest. The chant of SEC, SEC. Usually that's because another team from that conference has won a national championship. A great showdown in the SEC is coming up. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. in Columbia, Missouri, also known as the Quality City, where we're most likely ready to see a quality football game. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. Justice has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. Taylor takes it from the six. He's out to the 30. They'll bring him down at the 31. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. From their own 31 yard line, it's second down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. to find the open man and keep the drive alive. Good protection, and now he's on the run. Tackle at the 44. Call it a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. He's scrambling, and he's sacked. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. That's going to bring up fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Got the corner. Tackle made at the 41. Georgia staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. Uh, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. 
Brought down around the 38-yard line. You know, I talked to so many college quarterbacks who have gone on to be very successful in the NFL, and they all talk about the execution of the play action. And all of them talk about the good ones, about taking their time and really working to sell the play action and sell the fake. If you don't take the time as a quarterback to really sell the fake, it's going to make it easy on the linebackers and safeties to realize that that was just a fake handoff and to get back in position. But when you really work it and sell it the way that quarterback did right there, that's when it's more effective and can open up the big play. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Loss of three. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That makes it fourth and eight. Owen to punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Now he tries to buy some time. Good tackle there in space. Good yardage there on the scramble. Well, you have to credit the quarterback here. He's not the most fleet-footed guy on the field, but notice how he has the awareness and the composure to know when to tuck it and go. And as a result, he comes up with a big play. Now he's scrambling. He's tackled at the 37-yard line. That's a D. That brings him second and five. And he's tackled to the 38-yard line. That's a team of one on the play. That'll make it third and five. He's on the run. And they make the stop at the 49. going to try and scramble. They'll make the sack. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there. He doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. Second down and 12. Ball on the 47-yard line. Caught with room to work, and he's taken down at the 40. He scrambled. at the 30. They'll bring him down around the 23-yard line. Good job here by the receiver. Look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Strike to his receiver. No good. From the 23-yard line, it's second down. They come out in a five-wide set. That brings us third and ten. 
It's the 11th play of the drive. And he's level at the 14. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Boy, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. And he makes it out to about the 11 yard line. And they got him for a loss. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. It's second and 11. Ball on the 13. The Tigers wide receiver out with an apparent injury, although he might make a comeback later in this game. Tackled after a decent pickup. on third down, but he couldn't squeeze out that last yard. Fourth down, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. Worked for him last time. And the goal line defense digging in here. And down he goes at the one-yard line. Nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held onto the football there. And this is the 18th play of the drive. We want it. Come to my world. Mike, 55. Right there in the middle. 55. They bring him down in the backfield. He just timed the snap count there and really made a nice play. That makes it third and goal. This is from the five yard line. It's third and goal. Three down, three down. Hey, Mike 52. Mike 52. Over the middle, tight end's got it. Touchdown. Tight end does a nice job coming down with that touchdown catch. He certainly did, Brad. This guy's a big time threat inside the 10 yard line because of his size. He can out muscle defensive backs for the ball. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. We've been watching this one going on in Manhattan. And for Kansas State, they're looking to win two in a row. The Wildcats are on top, 24-17. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the six. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 33. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. That makes it second and ten. From their own 33-yard line. Second down. There's a strike complete. 
Tackle made around the 49-yard line. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's at the 40, fires out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 37. That's good for a game of 14 yards. First down. He zips it, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. Washington's on the tackle at the nine-yard line. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. The end zone touchdown. That was a well-drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes. So kudos to the quarterback. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. So a five-play, 68-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. We're even at seven in this one. Tucker fields it at the nine. Brought down at the 36. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Makes it to the 47. He's scrambling, tries to get around the corner, and he's tackled in the open field. He gained a good six yards on that scamper. Missouri's going to take their first time out of the hat. From the 47-yard line, second down, and they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. And he's going to be sacked. This kid just doesn't stop. That's his second sack of the game. You know, when this defense gets into a one-on-one -on -one situation with an offensive tackle, he usually wins. To effectively keep this guy bottled up, you've got to double-team him every single passing play. Fires it out. Tackle around the 39-yard line. tries to buy some time. He's at the 30. Brought down at the 24-yard line. Now he's scrambling. He's tackled around the 15-yard line. Picks up about nine on the scramble. The Tigers call a timeout. That's their second of the half. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. The 10. Touchdown, Mizzou. He got the handoff and knew exactly what to do with it. They like the fact that they have a halfback who can pick his way so well through defenses.
hits the PAT. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Time to go to the Little Apple in Manhattan. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And for Baylor, they're in danger of losing two straight. Denman's arm is capable of dominating a game. And so far, he's been doing just that, having thrown for more than 200 yards. The Wildcats are out front, 31-17, middle of the third quarter. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Moore has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. They'll bring him down at the 26. The Bulldogs quarterback, Kirk, he has done his job. Unfortunately, there's 22 guys on a team, and one guy's doing a great job. The other 21 aren't so much. Yeah, it's not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned. Right now, you're right. The quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball. But uh, the, the running backs, the wide receivers, the offensive line, the entire group, they've got to do a better job. Right now, when you look at that scoreboard, they've got to be really frustrated to think that they're down. Now, they still have time to get back in the game, and we'll see if they can adjust their mental mindset. Quarterback stats are one thing. Winning the game is what's more important. They'll knock him down for a loss. From their own 29-yard line, it's third down. Go to the ground and he stops short. It's a great play by the defense, but you know, it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. He dropped it. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. Kirk, he broke the cardinal rule there. He ran without the football. You know, as a return man, your first responsibility is to catch the ball and then worry about the return. He just lost his concentration there. Well, at least for now, the crisis was averted, and they keep control of the ball. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He sails it long. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. Great game in the works, folks, as we come to the end of the first half. 14-7, Tigers. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. He's Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half, and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of, and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes, because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. It's time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Cody on the right side. Gets out to around the 45. That's a game of 16. First down. First down. First and 10. Ball on their own 45. Mike 8. Mike 8. 
He gets out to about the 44-yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Complete. He's got room, and he's tackled at the 32. Purple makes this a tackle at the 32 yard line. First down. From the 32 yard line. First down. About the 25 yard line. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Did you see how calm he looked as he stood back there and read the defense? When you know what you're doing and what should be happening, it makes things a lot easier. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of six on the ball. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he hits him hard at the seven-yard line. This is the tenth play of this drive. stop at the 12-yard line. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Let's take a look at scores around the country. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for Denman, he's now hit the 200-yard mark passing. The Wildcats have the lead, 38-20, midway through the fourth quarter. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Georgia, ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 29. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Missouri is up by four. And they got him for a loss. That's a loss of one yard on the way. That'll bring up second and 11. And down he goes around the 41 yard line. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Throws a laser across the middle. They'll bring him down right around the 50. That brings up second and nine. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. Crash, crash. 
makes it to the 41. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. He's into the open field. He gets to about the 31-yard line. He launches one for the end zone. He'll take it all away for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. A nice six play, 70 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the So our score 21 10. Moore has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. From the five yard line, he makes it to the 28 yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle made the 38-yard line. That'll make it second in inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He makes his way to about the 48. That's good for a game of 10 yards. First down. hit out of bounds at about the 41 first down from the 41 yard line it's first down we played three and this is not what the experts predicted 21 10 Tigers Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Mike eight. Mike eight. Makes it out to about the 33. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They'll get him for a loss. He makes his way to about the 18. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. From the 18-yard line, first down. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. It's left and he'll lose yards here. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Here's 
here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's pushed out of bounds at the 10 yard line. Strike to the receiver, touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. So they go to the air on fourth down when they needed a big play, and boy, do they come through. So the offense is going to go for two. Less than three minutes in the game. Get the two. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Bears had the final spot in the poll at number 25. Unfortunately, that didn't last long. And for Kansas State, they've won two straight. The Wildcats take the 18-point victory. 21 to 16 in our game. Georgia gets set to kick this one away. From the seven. Brought down at the 26 yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Gets to about the 27 yard line. out to about the 37 yard line. Georgia's going to take their first time out of the half. From their own 37 yard line. First down. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 45. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Just over two minutes in the game. He tries to buy some time. He's taken down around the 49-yard line. What a critical first down as time ticks away. Huge, huge first down. The defense desperately needed a stop there. And they'll bring him down behind the line. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Tackle at the 46. Call a loss of one yard on the play. That'll make it third and 13. Where's 52? Watch 52. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. the end of the ball game and our final score in this one 21 16 Missouri
That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Curb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.